Hi, this is Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com, and today we're going to talk about the Makeup Blender sponges from Beauty Fullness. Before I begin, I do want to tell you I did receive these items for free or at a reduced price in exchange for my honest review, and this is the first time I have used any product like this. So what I did, this is what the Makeup Blender sponges look like when they come. They're in this little sealed packet. There are two of them in this box. I placed this one in a bowl of water to soak up because you're supposed to use them wet. And then it says to squeeze the water out like that. You can see the different size. And then a tip that I picked up was to squeeze this again inside of some paper toweling just to remove any excess moisture. Um, and there is just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to set that on my paper towel. I'm going to dab my foundation on my face. Oops. Okay, my concealers want to fall everywhere. Okay. This is my first time using this, so... Alright, that looks like quite a bit of foundation there, so... I'm just going to dab it on. I don't normally wear makeup, but I heard about these beauty sponges. And I was curious to try them and see just how well they worked. Okay. I'm just going to dab this on that. It's not going to hurt anything. And then you just take the beauty sponge like this. Dab it against your face. I'm just literally just going along like this. Okay, I am looking in a mirror down here if you're wondering why I'm looking down. Because as I said, I don't normally wear makeup. So, using these is new for me. And then you can just kind of brush it if it starts to dry so it doesn't streak. Okay. And then I'm going to use concealer around my eyes, which is another brand new product. Okay. I'm going to dab that on a little bit. I don't think it takes a lot. And I'm taking it all the way back to my hairline here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the other end of this to just kind of blend that in. I'm blending it all the way back to my hairline. Okay. And then I also have an eyelid primer that I'm going to try. It's another product I've never tried before. So we're going to see how this actually works. Okay, I'm probably putting a little too much on, but that's okay. And I'm also going to use the tip to just kind of dab and blend this in. looks pretty good here and this sponge is actually working really really well okay I want to be sure to turn this back and get up under my chin I want to dab a little bit on my ears and all the way up to my forehead there and if you're wondering what I'm wearing this is actually a swim cap that is wanting to fall off my head but it works really good to keep my hair back out of my face when I'm putting on makeup or moisturizers or anything like that Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished my makeup. I did end up using the Makeup Blender sponges from Beautifulness to add a little bit of foundation under my chin so it didn't look like I was wearing a mask. I have cleaned my beauty sponge. There is a little bit of staining on it. I used uh, the same soap that I use on my face and I used hot water. And then I'm just going to leave it set out and dry, probably on a paper towel. And again, you can see the difference once they've been wetted in size. Remember to always use the fat end for the large portions of your face and the pointed end for the smaller areas like your eyes. And so what do I think of this? It's very soft. It feels really good on your face. I like the way it applies the foundation and the concealer. I actually like using the sponge instead of my fingers because I'm always concerned about the oils in my fingers even after I've washed them, possibly 
adding dirt or bacteria that could clog my pores. And with this, as long as it's clean, I think we'll be okay. And so I do like it. Um, again, these are the Makeup Blender sponges from Beautifulness. I did get these on Amazon.com. You will be able to view my full review on my website, exper experimentalhomesteader.com, or under my name on Amazon.com. I want to thank you for watching. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and some comments in the comment section because I really like hearing from my viewers. And I hope you all have a great night.